Hey, what's going on dudes? Welcome back to my Minecraft world. Hopefully you guys are having a good day today. So today is going to be a little bit of a show and tell episode, but I told you guys earlier in the week in my Hypermind video, um, actually it was yesterday, so I had some problems getting that video out on time, so it came out on Thursday, but uh, I talked a little bit in the beginning of that how I had some stuff going on here in my single player world that was going to take me a little bit longer. Um, to get done so I could record this video, but yeah, dudes, I <laughs> I am done. I am finally done with this guardian farm. It is complete. It is a thing, and uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys dig what I've done with the places. Do a crouch reveal. So check this out. Whoa, squid. <laughs> that guy's glitching out. But yeah, dudes, it is done. So, you guys kind of got an idea of what I wanted to do last episode. I think I did like one of these corners or something. But uh, I have gone ahead and I have finished pretty much everything up. There are still a few things that I have to do here and there. Um, but for the most part, uh, it's done, man. This is such a weight off my chest to get out um, or get finished with because I was so sick of working on this thing. Can you go away, please? <laughs> this guy is just chilling under there. But, uh, yeah, dude, so come check this out. We're going to go take a look at what I've done. Um, like I said, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done down here. This is kind of like the actual storage room. Um, within the time, I have to say, this is not the fastest farm ever. I still need to light up all the caves and everything down below so we get some better flow rates or uh, spawn rates upstairs or up top in the tank. But we've got one chest and almost a half a chest of other stuff. So it is working. And... I don't know. It's just it's not super fast, which is which is okay. I mean, this is a single player world, so I could pretty much just AFK here um, for an entire like night and just leave it running overnight while I'm sleeping, and we'll have plenty enough blocks to use um, the next day. So yeah, man. So you guys saw the little things, uh, little water outlets and stuff that we built last episode, which uh, came out really nice. Now that I've added all the leaves and everything to them, um, I would still like to come back behind here and add walls coming down to kind of black black out this uh, <laughs> um, area where you can actually see into the distance because that just looks kind of funny to me like you can actually see kind of far away which uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense really so we'll have to change that up a little bit but I've come in here and I've added some grass uh, some of these two tall ferns some flowers and such here and there but uh, yeah dudes it's done it looks awesome I love this place um, I added the roots and the trees and stuff coming out of here. I think I've used just about all of my dark oak saplings. I don't think I have any more. Um, and all of these leaves are oak leaves. So I have been farming oak trees like crazy. So I am glad to be done with that because that is annoying. And I ended up using almost all of my beacon iron. So we're going to have to do a lot of caving to get caught back up on all our iron. But uh, that's going to lead me into something we talk about here in just a little while. But uh, yeah, so let's go downstairs, take a look. Oh, there's still a lot of stuff that needs to be done. I don't know really what I'm gonna do about the walls Because some of the walls are like halfway done with stone bricks, and then other ones are just plain bare stone And I don't really know what looks better or what looks worse Because it looks kind of cool with just the normal stone behind it, but it also looks really nice with the stone brick and stuff back here, too so I don't know. That's just another really big project that I don't really feel like taking on at least right now So that may be something I come. Oh, oh man I busted one of my ferns. Stupid, man. But, uh, yeah, so I am pleased with this. I would still like to do some other cool stuff here. I was thinking that since it kind of looks like a, like a research facility, it kind of reminds me of something like out of Jurassic Park. Um, <laughs> I, 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 if maybe I'm alone on that, I'm not too sure. But it's kind of like this is like the cage, you know, where the, the crazy animals or whatever it is. And we got the guardians in there. It would be kind of cool to have some sort of like research facility or something down below, like underground. And uh, I was thinking we could like name tag some of these guys and put them in tubes or something. I don't know, man. Something kind of cool and weird along those lines what I think would be fun to do. So um, that may be a thing that we do in the future. But as of now, it is just a guardian farm and... Uh, Oh, I'm glad to be done with this, man. This is taking a long time, or it's taken a long time, and I'm about ready to get back over and work on our ship a little bit more. And, uh, you know, this all started just because I wanted some more blocks to use in that ship that we were building uh, a few episodes back. It all, all, all of this, all of this is because I wanted to work on a ship. <laughs> and look what it turned into. So, <sighs> deep breath, relax, it's done, man. 
and I think it looks fantastic. So you guys will definitely have to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this place. Uh, maybe some stuff that I could add to it to make it look a little bit better, or uh, maybe it's too much. Maybe you think I should change it up a little bit and kind of, uh, I don't know, go with something different. Because I, I kind of tend to build a lot with leaves and wood and have very organic builds. So I don't know if that's like y'all's favorite thing or not, but I think, I don't know, it's kind of one of those things I'm, I'm comfortable with it. And I feel kind of comfortable building this style, but maybe we should try to branch out and do some things a little bit different. So, um, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, today's episode is not going to be super long. Uh, I want to talk about a couple of things about future projects and plans and stuff that I'm going to be doing off camera. I'm not really going to include you guys too much until it's actually done. Um, so, the first of which being is a wither skeleton farm. So... Uh, we're going to head over here into the nether. Actually, I'll meet you guys back over uh, once we get over here because this is a little bit of a trek and uh, I don't want to bore you guys too much. So yeah, I'll meet you over here in just a second. Okay, so uh, the project that I was talking about, the Wither Skeleton Farm, kind of along with this is the rest of this area here. So you see I've got this like one wide bridge. Uh, this has got to go. I've actually killed myself a couple of times running off the edge here and uh, lost multiple really good items. <laughs> so we're going to finish this guy. It's kind of going to be like a tower thing uh, going up there. and We'll have the spiral staircase here in the middle, obviously. But uh, coming up top here, we have this area where the wither skeletons are spawning. So it's like the cross pattern in the nether fortress, which is the area that the wither skeletons spawn. And uh, it is super dark, man. I don't know if you guys can really see. Torches don't do like jack in the nether. So, um, yeah, that's kind of annoying. But, yeah, these cross sections here are like the places that uh, nether skeletons spawn. And I think it's actually, I think we can go like another three or four blocks out this way in each direction is like their spawn area. So we'll have to come in here and flatten all of this out and add a bunch of spawn pads. Um, I think we can go up and down too as well. So... That's a thing. Uh, we got the blaze farm here, or the blaze spawner, which I would like to do something with. Get some sort of blaze farm going, which would be nice just to use blaze rods instead of like uh, using coal for smelting and you know all of our hot smelty needs. Um, <laughs> I don't really know, but uh, yeah. So this thing is pretty big. If we go out that way, it ends. But if we come back, I believe it is this one over here. We can head in here, and it actually takes us to more some of these, uh, some more of these cross patterns or cross ways, whatever you want to call them. And uh, we could make the farm even bigger by building pads and stuff over here too. So this would be kind of a big project, and it's something that I could just kind of sit down, and put, throw a movie on or something, um, watch some Netflix while I'm building this whole guy. So there's one there, there's one here. Uh, I don't believe they actually spawn in the ones that got the little houses on top of them. I don't know. I may have to do some research on that and see what that is exactly. But, uh, yeah, so we have lots of these, and it would be really nice to be able to get this going so we could actually start collecting wither skeleton skulls for beacons and uh, just kind of for some decoration stuff around the castle. But in order to do beacons, we need an iron farm, and that's something I kind of talked about a long time ago. Um, oh, look, we got another blaze farm here, too. So that could be a thing. But, uh, yeah, iron farm, like the iron trench or something. I'm thinking of doing something really big, and that, I just, it, ugh. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not going to do it really anytime soon, but it's going to be something kind of small that I kind of chip away at over time. Um, so can we get a wither skeleton skull from you? That'd be sweet. I think we got looting. No, we only got sharpness. nothing we didn't get anything from this guy what a jerk but uh yeah so the iron farm and stuff that would be a thing and kind of just chip away at over time and uh would be like hey here you go it's all done don't worry um i did all the hard work off camera i don't know you guys don't have to bear my pain you know that kind of thing so that that's kind of the ideas that's the plans of what's going to be happening in my minecraft world behind the scenes so I don't really know how long that's going to take or when I'm even going to start on it, but it is a thing. So um, let's head back over to the castle, man. We're just going to go take a look at kind of what we've done. We haven't been over here in a while. At least I haven't been um, really besides coming back and picking up some stuff when I need it. But uh, yeah, this place is coming along really good too. 
but I am definitely about ready to get back over here into the castle and finish things up, so... Oh, another big project, man. Why is everything always so big in this world? I guess that's kind of like the name of the show, though. I mean, my Minecraft world has always been like, let's go big or go home, you know? <laughs> oh, I don't know what I got myself into. But, uh, yeah, so let's head over here. We're going to take a look at the ship. We still have lots of work to do over here, but uh, this is the reason that we built that whole guardian farm over there. Because I wanted some more of these, uh, some more of the blocks and stuff to use to add some color to the ship. And then also to start adding color and stuff around here. Because we have a lot of green and uh, brown and this teal, like cyan color that the prismarine, bro prismarine blocks have, not brocks. Um, it's gonna fit in really well so I think we're gonna be adding quite a bit of that stuff around here and kinda just making it look a little bit better with smaller details and whatnot so uh yeah man it's dark in here but uh yeah so that, I think that's pretty much gonna do it for today I'm sorry it was such a short episode but I just kinda wanted to fill you guys in on what's been going on and show you the project uh, or the finished completed project of the the guardian farm over there I am so glad that that thing is done hopefully you guys like the way it looks um, because I feel like I spent that's probably the most time I've spent on one single project in this world We have a lot of big projects, but I feel like just focusing on one thing that only has oops Breaking everything man. It only has like one sole purpose is to farming. It's not even an XP farm It's just straight like an item farm. Oh hi guy. Holy cow You are quiet There we go. We got him broke some grass on the on the way down but uh that's okay but yeah so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode hit that like button for me down below leave a comment let me know what you think of the guardian farm hopefully you guys think it looks cool and uh maybe we can actually add the research facility idea down below i think that would be kind of a fun project to do eventually i don't know <laughs> we'll see but uh yeah if you guys got any suggestions we are getting ready to do some user requests man so leave your suggestions down below in the comments so we can start adding those things into this castle area or pretty much wherever you want to in the world you just gotta let me know in the comments down below but anyways i will see you guys next time all right thank you so much for watching peace ciao